Hey guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. I'm Lori. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. Today is our second update in the panning games. Third update in the panning games. Well, it's my second update. I am right. Second update in the panning games because I started a month late. Um, This is being hosted by the Pantastic Ladies, and it was created by Amanda and Jessica, whose links I will have down below, as well as all of those who are participating in this project. Um, let's just jump right in. We have a bunch of stuff to go through. Almost all of my stuff is in this bag here. And there is one item that I have completely lost. I have looked for it everywhere and so I will be replacing that today. And I'm not even going to go down my list because everything is in this bag and it's a mess. So let's go over what I've lost. I have lost my Becca um, highlighter in Champagne Pop. It was one of their mini size. Um, the size of the Vanilla Quartz I'll show you that. So it was this size and I lost it. So in its place, I am bringing in from Becca, I am bringing in this color right here. It is called Moonstone. And I am bringing this in as a highlighter, um, basically to replace Champagne Pop because I don't have another Becca highlighter and yeah I have other highlighters I could use but I thought I have this yes it's meant for your eyes but you can use it as a highlighter and so I wanted to just stick with it because I'm weird that way okay I did finish my Garnier um, whole blends shampoo and conditioner foil packets and I believe there was around eight to 10 of these, um, but I had to spread them out because they're just not moisturizing enough for my hair. And so I finished these on, um, I guesstimated October 20th. I think it was a little earlier than that, but that's what I um, guessed the date on. Now I did declutter one item last month and that was my Pearl Lease lip balm um, because it's bad and so that is gone and I also finished on September 21st my Kenra dry oil control spray. I really liked this stuff. I really liked that a lot. Now I finished my Johnson's baby lotion on the 4th of November. So I just got this done. And yes, I liked it. I love Johnson's baby lotion. This is where I was last month because I had kind of forgotten about it. So that's where I was. And then I just used the heck out of it this month. All right, then next one in here, cause that, oh, I have one other that is done, but it's inside the bag. So this is my City Mini palettes in Downtown Sunrise. I use this for almost every single look I do. And you know, in a year, I think I might be able to hit pan on a couple of them especially this one right here. That's where my biggest movement has been, but I've also made some quite a bit of movement on this brown. So, um, but these four colors right here are what I use the most. But I really love this palette. It's probably one of my favorites at the moment. Then I have my Skin Fix Minty Mint um, lip balm. I haven't really used it. I've been concentrating on other lip balms to get them used up. And then my Lipstick Queen Hello Sailor. Um, I kind of marked it here, I think, last month, and I recolored it um, today, recolored it. I remarked it today. I have used this, 
but it's been sitting on its side and so I don't know if you can tell, but where we're seeing light is over here instead of over here. So I have no idea where we are at on Hello Sailor. All right, the Simple Hydrating Gel Cream, I have not even used. I think I'm gonna put this in my shower bag so I have a moisturizer to put on when I first get out of the shower and then I will put on my actual moisturizers once I get downstairs so I can just start using this. Okay, the next one is my Neostrata Illuminating Serum. I have not even touched this. I've been working on another one, but I think I am going to set that one aside and start working on this. Then I got this Air Repair Complexion Quen Quenching Facial Mist. I got this, it's just a little sample and I finished it on October 26th. I really liked this um, a lot and so I would like to find it. I don't even know where I got this, but I would like to find um, this product because it's something I would consider purchasing. Okay, the next one is my A La Maison Fig and Basil, um, is it hand and body lotion? Now I have only used a, a little bit of this this month because I've been working on other moisturizers, you know, hand and body lotions. So this has kind of been on the sidelines. Okay, this is my um, Rimmel London Stay Matte Liquid Lip in Blush. I have been using this. It's probably my favorite um, liquid lip in this project. This is the shade right there. Um, but I never marked this, and so I don't even know where we are at in this. I just figured I would use it until there was no more to use. Now this is my BH Cosmetics and I thought it was in rose but when I was doing my lip product inventory I realized this is Endora which is a beautiful a beautiful color. It doesn't change the color that is um, you know, in this project, but I've been calling it Rose this whole time, but it is in Dora, and it's kind of goopy and gross, but someone suggested I shake it and then use it, and that has helped. So that is that. Then I have my Nude Sticks um, Creamy Eyeshadow in Taupe, and this is it. I have been um, consciously using this at least, you know, a couple of times a week, sometimes just once a week, but I try to use it at least a couple of times a week. And so that is it. When I'm in a hurry and I want a look, that's what I grab. Then I have my Hourglass Primer, face primer. I have not used it at all because I've been working on other face primers. Sorry, I need to sit up so you guys can see me. Then my next one is my Jante Blue um, Eyeliner in Dark Brown. I'll put it up here. I have been using it. It's actually what I have on my eyes tonight. I don't know if you could see that. It is, it's supposed to be a dark brown, but it just doesn't really pick up for some reason. I've thought about using it. Actually, I did use it one night. I didn't have um, my eyebrow pencil, and so I used it in place, and it worked okay. So I've been thinking about using it again for that, just to try and use this up. Then I have my Amazing Grace Firming Body Emulsion. I haven't used it, not once. 
Then this is my Makeup Forever bullet that I have in C211. It's actually what I'm wearing tonight. Now this bullet is broken. If you guys can see, it's kind of bent over. Um, I love the shade and I do not like that it is broken because it makes it difficult to, well, one, to screw back down, but to put on. Um, yeah, it's just a pain to put it on when the bullet is flopping all over the place. And so I do like it and I plan on keep on using it, but that's it right there. It is very pretty. I just don't like that it's broken. Then my other bullet is, oh, what I don't have in here. Oh, I do have it in here. It is, sorry. My other bullet that I have is my Kat Von D Double Dare. And I never measured any of these. So that's it right there. It, of course, is just like all the other ones. Same. <laughs> Same color family. So that is it right there. It's probably the least one. Um, the My least favorite one out of all the shades that I have, but I do wear it. Then I have my Pearl Lease Blue Lotus um, Mud Mask, and I have not used this yet because I have been working on other products to get done. All right, the next one I have is my Lipstick Queen Frog Prints. I marked it right here um, today. I'm guesstimating that's about where I'm at. I do use this one quite a bit. It's probably the one I use the most. Then I have my Luna eyeshadow and Juliet and I think the shade is so beautiful and I just keep forgetting to reach for it I need to because she is just so pretty I will swatch her up above I don't even know if you guys can see her but she is just so gorgeous I need to use her but I totally forget about using her all the time and that's Juliet, and then I have my Seraphine Botanicals Lychee in Gold Flush that, as you guys know, is completely shattered. I'm not taking the lid off. It is completely shattered. I need to press it into something else um, and not this, but I'm not sure I have anything, you know, big enough to press it into. So, I'm kind of at a standstill with this. I can use it loose, but one, it makes for waste of a really good blush. But two, sorry, I have to move. I have kind of a cramp going on. But two, um, it makes my blush really dark if I use it loose. So um, I need to press it. I just don't want to press it in here because it's already shattered in here for no known reason. And so I need to figure out what to do with that. So those are my products for my panning games. I have to date one, two, three, well, three items, four items done, and one item that was decluttered. You guys take care, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.